Rob Ellis is here now with the forecast. We have a little more rain. Coming up, we do in the seven day forecast, but it's going to take a while before it gets here. I've made some changes to the forecast actually for the second half of the week. In the meantime, it's a pretty quiet pattern and that's some good news. Temperatures are trying to drop, but we still have some leftover clouds. So currently into the 50s, looking back to the west, we see some low 50s, even a few upper 40s that may pop up overnight, and that's going to take the clouds to move out before we get there. And I do think that that'll happen overnight. We'll move all of this out of here so that by tomorrow, your forecast is for mostly clear clear skies that will happen tonight and I'm going to put 48 for the overnight low a little bit of a southwest wind here, but it's not going to really change very much. Here's how it looks on future cast as I step out of the way because I want you to see that tomorrow morning it's quiet, clear skies all the way through the afternoon and we carry that over into Tuesday as well. So really the first half of this week is pretty uneventful. Lots of sunshine temperatures a little bit below the average, but for the most part, it's a pretty nice forecast. Sunny a little bit more fall like temperature of 66 for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we go up to 67. More sunshine is there. But if you were watching yesterday, and I know you were, I was talking about this big change that's coming at the end of the week, and I said between Thursday and Friday, we'd see the temperatures drop from the 70s down into the 40s. Well, look at this. I've made an adjustment here. I'm actually carrying those 70s over to Friday, but a big drop now occurring Friday night into Saturday. So we've delayed that a day. Let me show you how it'll look for future cast. We use one of our long range models here, the GFS model shows it staying in the mid 60s. We do that again as we head into Tuesday. By the time we get into Wednesday, potentially getting very close to 70. Here comes the front, by the way. And then once we get into Thursday, still very warm into the 70s, but I think the front will be delayed. So we get one more day out of this, potentially another day of storms as well, as I think storms will come along that front. And look at the temperature change. It could get close to 70 ahead of this, much colder back behind it, and then the cooler air moves in. And by Saturday morning, we're talking about temperatures into the 30s. Yeah, and of course, that comes with that chance of rain. I now think the better chance is going to be sometime around Friday. Take a look Look at the seven day forecast. Notice I've put that rain chance in there for not just Thursday, but also Friday, and that's going to kind of change the way the temperatures stack up. I still think we'll be able to stay very warm for Thursday and Friday, but it is going to feel much cooler for Saturday and Sunday. Definitely putting some clouds in the forecast as well. And yes, by the time we get into the weekend, you'll have temperatures down into the 30s. All right, thank you, Rob.